What's up, y'all? It's your girl Samantha, and I am back with another mukbang. And I decided that lately I've been having a little bunch of different foods, and I need more of my salads. I've missed them. I haven't really had a big salad in a while, so I made one. So what I got here is a baby green spring mix with some uh, mixed tomatoes yellow and red and then I got these Parmesan everything cheese crisps it's just awesome and um, then I got a little onion because you know I love my onions and I have some extra sharp provolone that's just me some grew up on it it was my thing and then we got some red lobster biscuits that are made at home and then we got my potato skins I got a little bit of everything. And then I got some rice on this side with, again, another homemade sauce in there. Special seasoning, secret, can't tell you. And uh, my ranch. Because you know I need, I need ranch. And you know what? Ranch goes great on this salad as well as on my potato skin. So it kind of works out like for both. And then I just, you know, just a little. And then I got some. Um, Canada Dry because we had the party yesterday and we got some ginger ale. And I don't really drink it that much, so it is time. So when I do have it, like after a party, the only thing that I will drink that is soda related is ginger ale. Because it's delicious and nutritious. I guess not really, but to me it is, so in my mind. And I got some water. Let's get some water in here. Mmm. Alright, so I'm like really excited to talk to you guys about this, um, uh, this crazy, ridiculous, retarded, but fun and amazing show. So, me and my husband were talking about this hilarious post we've seen on Facebook about a, f a movie that we thought was fake. And then come to find out, it's actually a real series on Netflix called the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window i believe if i'm not mistaken and i'm not joking it's a serious like that's a it's a movie so mm. so we're going to netflix boom it's really there. What the? Right. Like, first of all, why would you? And then, on top of the fact that the name is so long, that's actually a series, and it's a part one. It's not like it's a movie called The Girl in the Window or In the House Across the Street. You know, something like that. It's actually just that long-ass title, and then boom a series but it's actually really dope it's getting pretty cool as we keep going because i think we're on like the fifth episode it's actually really awesome as i spoke yesterday with the uh the movies and the tv shows I'm telling you I, I told you before and i'm gonna tell you again i like all different types of things and this is actually a really good series Which is why I said Midnight Mass was a great series. Until the end. Like, so that's what's going to piss me off. If this series ends up being like trash. At the end. I'll never rewatch it ever again. Like those series that the ending is like trash. Like, go screw yourself. I'll never watch again, but if it ends really good, like when they do the final season finale, then, oh no, then I'll watch it again. Uh, we got this rice. I had this rice yesterday, but I decided to put my spin on it because not everybody cooks the same. and. This was not made the, the way that it should be made. It needs a glove. 
So, give some love. When you eat, you're supposed to love what you eat. Even if it's bad for you, you just gotta enjoy it. Enjoy life. I mean, just don't go crazy and you know, do crazy shit every single day. But when you eat, you should eat to enjoy it. Like, when you have the salad, enjoy it. Oh, god dang it. Oh no, I got the chicken, so it's fine. This ain't even chicken. This is plant based chicken. Even that's healthy. Look, at, look, that's what I'm saying. See this big salad? It's healthy. I didn't put a lot of dressing because you could tell that it's not overdressed. I still have parts that are like fully nude. So, if you really think about it, I got something over here. It's really annoying. You've got some. Mm hmm. The only thing that makes this bad is the fact I have the biscuits and the potato skins, but not really because it's just basically the skins and cheese. So, basically, it's kind of keto, but not really. It's like a fake keto. Oh my god, yes. Fake keto. This is so good. So, because I'm eating this, I have to laugh about it. Because My husband showed me some videos on YouTube and this guy was freaking hilarious. And I'm eating a salad and one of his most favorite lines is toss my salad. But he's of Asian descent so his his accent is hilarious. And like I think I think the uh, son in law who's from the United States taught him how to speak English, but taught him like certain words on on purpose to make it funny. So he says things without knowing what they actually really mean. Oh my god, it was hilarious. I, now I'm eating a salad, and I was just thinking about how funny that it was. Because when you think, when I told you, I, I watch almost everything on Netflix. There's nothing really to watch, so... You start going to YouTube, and then you go to like Facebook and social media, and you start watching all different videos, cooking, funny. Um, so I did like um, funniest TikTok compilations, and I would watch all those videos. You know? Mm. These Parmesan cheese cups are amazing. I don't know who thought about like shredding Parmesan and then throwing everything but the bagel seasoning on it, but whoever thought of that is. Smart as fuck. Mm hmm. I tell you, not a lot going on. There's no more food. So good. So hopefully, hopefully, you guys have been like watching and thinking about what I'm eating and making yourself the same thing. Mm-hmm. Because if you're watching this video and you're not wanting a, a chicken salad, you're crazy. Because you know how good chicken salads are. Like, amazing. It's healthy and delicious. Mm. And you put whatever you want in it, and that's the best part. When you make your own salad at home, or even if you go to like 
salad works or subways or wherever these because McDonald's don't do it no more but Wendy's got it and you get a chicken salad like a lot of places you can put things in but at home it's so much better because you can pick whatever you want a lot of places don't have the exact cheeses or the exact maybe you don't want bacon in your salad or maybe you don't want chicken maybe you want pieces of salami like a antipasto or something you know what I mean you, you can't really get that at a fast food place but you do it at home and look look, look how amazing that is I could have put salami in this The crazy part is I can't. I end up putting everything on the floor. And then I put it. And then I can't talk, but then I want to because I want you to understand how delicious this stuff is. So, I got all these tomatoes. I just needed a minute. Oh yeah. Wait. I'm forgetting something. I'm not forgetting. More ranch. Why? Cause I ate half of my salad already. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. And put a little of this on this side. It's like a dip. I do the dip. You dip it, dip it, dip it. Mmm, boom. Mmm. The best part of the home cook is that you could put everything together and don't have to match. Ever. You could literally eat any protein or any side. And it will taste so good. You know what I'm saying? Look, look how good this is. You see it. Ooh. And the little tomato. Check it. Tomato. Oh. You want to take one of these? No. Couldn't hold it. Couldn't hold it. Ah. Mm hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Almost forgot about the cheese. I'll tell you. Something about ginger ale. There is something about it. I don't know what they put in this thing. I don't know what they do to it. It's not like any other soda at all. It's not like Pepsi or Coke. They don't have that effect. But everybody has that. Everybody has their own soda that has that effect on them, I guess. But I feel like everybody feels the same way about ginger ale. It's like refreshing. And at the same time, mm, when it's ice cold, it doesn't go down as bubbly or as sulfury as the rest, but it's definitely good. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me tell you something about these biscuits. You buy the box. You're supposed to add water, cheese, and I believe that's it. Exactly. Think about that. Only two ingredients, which is awesome. But not on my end. So, you want to add water and cheese.
and some pepper. A little garlic powder. A little special seasoning. And the special seasoning on this. Because you have to add butter. Like that's the problem. If you make these with just water and cheese, like it says. It will come out drier than a KFC biscuit. And I don't care what anybody says about saying Popeyes has the driest biscuit. That's bullshit. Excuse my language. It's definitely KFC. Them thick, nasty. No. Sorry, Colonel. But if you make these the right way, and add two tablespoons of melted butter in the mix. And then you scoop it out. And then put it into the pan. And then you bake them sons of the guns. They will come out crispy on the top and soft and moist in the inside. That's what they don't tell you. They be lying. You know they need butter in order to make it moist. It can't just be water. So good I forgot my cup. Let me tell you something. I can't tell you enough how good salads are. I miss them. I should start, you know what? You know what's one of my favorite dressings? Balsamic vinaigrette. One, mm hmm But not like raspberry or any of that crazy stuff. Mm -mm. Atomic vinegar, vinaigrette. That's it. Easy. And you put that on top of this salad without, forget the ranch. I tell you, try it. You see the videos now where people taking like tomatoes and putting the, the balsamic vinaigrette on it or tomatoes and mozzarella and putting it on a plate with some basil and, and throwing it on top. That shit has been around for so long that these videos make me laugh. Because I've done it before the videos came out. Because that's always been a salad dressing. And if you put tomatoes in your salad, it's the same thing. Come on guys, think about it. It's not new. Who thought of it first? You or the video? Oh. Let me tell you. The stomach vinegar up on the salad. But I could go for like a different type of salad next time. So I should definitely start doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start doing salads too. You're gonna be like, what place is that? Salad Works, right? I think that's what it's called. Salad Works. Up in this piece. Have all different cheeses, different types of tomatoes, yellow ones or red ones. Mm hmm. I'll never, ever, ever. Stop loving salad because it's healthy. It's healthy. I'm not putting anything bad in my body in this situation. Maybe over here. Definitely, possibly over here. But this, all healthy. And that's what you want to be. You want to be healthy. But at the same time, like I said, enjoy it. You want to enjoy it. I can sit down and eat a whole pint of chocolate peanut butter ice cream. But I shouldn't. But I would. 
But instead, I could break it down into three different lights. Top, middle, and bottom. So that way it could last longer. So I could have it, obviously. And so I'm not packing everything on at once. Moderation is key. Someone wise once told me that. Moderation is key. Mm -hmm. But that's a problem. And once I get to going, I don't know how to get to stop it. As you see me, I'm going. I ate most of the salad already. I should be stopping because I do like to have snacks at night. But I'm not going to stop because I don't feel like having a snack today if I'm going to have this. Plus, I tore up a little bit of cake earlier that we made for our boys today for their birthday. Today was their birthday. They actually turned something. Yesterday was their party. Today was their birthday. So, I ate some cake. And then, you know, if I ate the cake before, I, I should have spoiled my dinner. Like, that's how everybody's parents tell you you can't eat things before whatever. But... Obviously, I didn't spoil it because I'm busting it down. And there's, I don't know. Something about the biscuits. Something about the biscuits. Nobody understands. Like, the outside is crunchy. But not jawbreaker crunchy, it's like crisp. That's a good word, crisp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the inside is just perfect. That's a nice big piece of cheese right there, man. And that's why. Because you add the butter to keep it moist. Mm. Make a mess. So it's been such a long day. I'm not going to lie. It's been a long day. I think I think every day is a long day. But what I did was I didn't. I don't care. Judge me not. But I did not clean the dishes from the party last night until this morning because I fell asleep. I was tired. As a parent, those things you let slide at least for 24 hours. But well, obviously, it wasn't even 12 hours. You know what I mean? So come on. Take it off.